What's poppin'? How we doing? Wanted to make this video. It's another forum post kind of reaction and discussion. Wanted to make this real quick. I think it's a really interesting topic and something I've always been curious of myself. I fully support what this guy's saying. Um, so I wanted to hear y'all's thoughts on it too. That's ultimately what I try to do with these forum post discussions. Is I'm, I'm really curious what everyone else thinks about this because I think this is completely logical and I don't know why this hasn't happened yet. So this forum post today is a question basically, or not a question, it's a statement, but I'm asking this question to you guys. Do you guys think that the undaunted chests that you use to get the monster set shoulders, those coffers, do you think that those should be curated? So I absolutely do. And first of all, before we get into it, I just want to read what he said or what they said. So it says, see subject line. It's been a long time since I used keys to purchase shoulders from the undaunted NPC vendors. I usually just buy them in Cyrodiil when they become available. I was needing some shoulders, excuse me, geez, uh, for a healer build, and I didn't want to wait, so I ran a few dungeons, ended up getting medium armor and light armor several times, when what I'm after is the heavy. I had no idea these were not curated. It just feels like they should be. Even if they were curated, it could take a bit to get the one you are wanting brought tears to this one's eyes all right it's not that bad but for anybody that doesn't know what this what this person is talking about basically a monster set is a set in eso it's a two-piece set you wear it on your on your helmet and you wear it on the shoulder piece okay so the helmets are a 100 percent drop rate from the last boss in a veteran dungeon so there's going to be different monster set helmets that drop from each dungeon, right? And every time a new dungeon comes out, you're going to get a new associated monster set as well. The shoulders come from Undaunted Coffers. So when you hit level 45, you get this Undaunted Enclave invitation. So the Undaunted Enclave is basically an outdoor campsite that's located at the three major capital cities. That's Mournhold and Deshaun, Wayrest and Stormhaven, and Elden Root and Grotwood. For the different alliances you go there and every day there is a daily quest to enter a dungeon there are three pledge givers is what they're called the daily dungeon quest is called a pledge so you can get three of these per day two of them are base game one of them is going to be dlc okay and so basically your reward along with you know gold and xp is you get transmute crystals which you can use for reconstructing gear or transmuting a new trade on it and you also get undaunted keys the keys are a reward that you can use to buy coffers, which is basically a loot crate with a chance to give you the shoulder piece you're looking for, but it's not curated. So the curated system was introduced with the idea that people were grinding things for like hundreds of runs and they would never get the set piece that they needed to drop. So what curated loot is, is it looks at a boss's loot table and it will preferentially give you an item that you have not collected yourself um, first. And then once you've collected everything in that loot table, it goes back to being completely random. So the helmets are curated. So if I go into Fungal Grotto 1 and I'm farming out the Krog monster set, I will get in three runs, I will have gotten the light, medium and heavy. The order of which just depends on what I've gotten previously. So if I get light the first run, I'm not going to get light in the second run. I'll get medium or heavy, if that makes sense. So this post is basically saying, why are the shoulders in those chests not curated? So for there are two different coffers you can get. One of them is going to cost one key. And this one key coffer at each pledge giver is going to give you an assortment of all the different monster sets that can be sold by that person so the dlc vendor it's a female orc called ergolarg i think um as you could guess there's been dlc dungeon upon dlc dungeon upon dlc dungeon and so that list keeps getting longer and longer and longer so if you use one of those keys you open the coffer it has a chance to give you a light medium or heavy monster set shoulder piece from every single dlc okay um and then you can also then use five keys okay to get a special coffer that gives you a chance to get one of two sets from a, a thematic coffer so let's say you know you get i i forget what they're you know what they're going to be completely with but a lot of the the dlc dungeons come in a pack of two dungeons so like the most recent one was the scribes of fate that was in q1 of 2023 and that gave us balsinar and scrivener's hall so if you go to the dlc um dungeon pledge giver 
She'll have a coffer that'll give you the monster set from both of those two, and you have a chance to get one of the six different ones, right? So there's two monster sets. They both come in um, light, medium, and heavy, so six total, right? So you have a higher chance of getting what you want, but it's still random. And so the whole point of this is saying, why is this random? Why is it not curated? It's not like it's going to take um, anything away from our experience. In fact, it actually drives people away from doing this stuff. And what this guy's saying is just buying them in Cyrodiil. There's a special vendor that you can go to every weekend called the Golden Vendor. It's going to be at a specific camp for each of the alliances, but it'll be in all three. Like you're never going to like not have it one weekend because you're you know the Old Married Dominion or something. Um, but you can go there and they cycle through. It alternates. Like one weekend she'll have you know for one monster set she'll have all the helmets that you can buy with gold or alliance points, which is the currency you get in PvP. And then the next weekend, she'll have the shoulder pieces. So what a lot of people tend to do is just say, hey, what's up the golden vendor this weekend? And they'll look and see if they have the monster set shoulder pieces that are present or the helmet, whatever. Um, and they'll buy them, right? So that they don't have to worry about this nightmarish system. Some people have great luck, but I myself, like several times, you know, way back when I started collecting the monster sets, I would quite literally put... 50 60 70 keys in trying to get one shoulder piece because as you know a lot of builds like you want a light armor um, shoulder piece sometimes sometimes you want a heavy piece right and so even though you're completing the set you're not going to get the weight you want and so it, it's not the complete build right so it is kind of weird that you can't do that so i just wanted to go through some of these comments and talk about them so this person agrees. This person says, no, they shouldn't, or otherwise you wouldn't have any incentive to go in there over and over to populate dungeons and make them feel alive. So number one, I totally disagree with this statement. If the only incentive to ever go into a dungeon was to get a shoulder piece, then something is seriously wrong. I absolutely love the dungeons. There's numerous achievements. There's numerous sets in there. There's cosmetics, you can get skins, personalities, dyes, all this stuff, mementos if you like that. I'm not a memento person, but some people are. Um, so this is, this is honestly really silly. Um, I actually don't really care about doing pledges, even though you can get up to 15 transmutes and six keys per day per character. By doing pledges, I don't like them because of this system, because it's not curated loot. If it was curated, I would do the pledges every day. I've gotten the achievements, which involve you doing 100 of the pledges for each of the um, people. So that's 100 days of doing dungeon dailies, and I still have not collected all of the shoulder pieces, if that tells you something. Um, the drop rate is terrible. Terrible. Like, the RNG is just horrible. Like, it's, it's randomized. I've, if you know me, you know that I hate loot crates in general. That includes crown crates. That includes this shit. Like, I just think it's stupid. I don't know why... There's anything that's not curated. I think, frankly, it's really freaking dumb. And that goes for rewards of the worthy, too, for PvP. If you are doing PvP all the time, there is no reason that those rewards of the worthy coffers should not be giving you PvP pieces in Cyrodiil that you have not collected. I think it's so dumb. It goes across the board. I don't care if it's treasure chests. I don't care if it's this. There is no reason it should not be curated. It feels bad. It's not fun. It's not interesting. And we established that a while ago, which is why this curated system came to be. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's just, it's a, it's a Zenimax thing. Clearly, they love loot crates. That's why the crown crates are one of their biggest focuses in this game. But this shit feels bad, and it shouldn't be a thing in the game. Just plain and simple. All right, for old players, this is not a problem. But for new players, it takes a very long time to collect a full collection of monster sets. It would be a great idea to add other chests with curated drops similar to what was done for the chest from the infinity archive so number one this is bullshit i've been playing since 2014 that's just frankly not true at all i still haven't collected a lot of the shoulder pieces and it's because of this stupid system that it's not curated right um number two the way that it's set now where you can do one key or five keys it would take a very long time for you to even using curated loot to collect everything um but i do agree if we were to do curated drops, I would rather them be a little bit pricier because then that would drive you to do them more often. And if you had the one key coffer and you just spam that, you get six of those a day, that's six monster sets, you'll fill them up really fast. So I agree, the one coffer um, or the one key coffer should still be there. 
The five one, sure. I just think that they need to add a 10 key coffer for every single dungeon. And in that coffer needs to be a curated monster set piece, period. There's no reason this should not be a thing. There are dedicated chests to shoulders, even though not curated. And with some help, you can get all headpieces of one dungeon in a single run if you're lucky enough. I don't see why this needs to be even faster to complete. There's absolutely no need for a full sticker book other than completion. This guy's opinion, in my opinion, is, is honestly just kind of irrelevant. This is a personal thing. Um, the only thing that this would do is help players and drive them away from madness. I just, I, I really don't know what this guy's saying. It's not fast at all. And frankly, this person just doesn't care about collecting all the sets in the game. That's all they're saying. And they're coming here to say that opinion. Who cares? Like, if you don't care about it, that's great. But for the people that do, this helps them. This doesn't hurt this guy. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I don't understand. Um, in my opinion, if we're going to have curated set drops from dungeons, including helms, then it just seems that this should also apply to the shoulders. Correct. I agree. Since they're also part of the same set. I mean, why have curated items on all pieces of a set except for one? I totally agree. Imagine if you could run dungeons and the curated loot was only for, like, the body pieces and not the weapons. It'd be dumb, right? It would be dumb and it would feel bad. That's what this feels like. It feels bad. I got... I once got 11 medium Symphony of Blade shoulders in a row. It was so ridiculous that I posted the loot log into Discord for posterity. Anyone who argues against the coffers being curated must have never blown a bunch of keys on terrible RNG. Totally agree with that. I've quite literally spent 60 keys on one coffer back in the day. I think I was trying to get one of the Sentinel of Rokugam's um, shoulder pieces for like a healer build I was doing way back when. And it took 60 keys. Okay, 60. It's madness for one piece. That's crazy. Um, head pieces are no problem, but I recently got five of those five key boxes, and at least three contain the same pauldron that I didn't need. Feels bad. Considering the time it takes to get five keys, so that would be doing vet hard mode on both of the base game dungeons, and then just a veteran completion without the hard mode on the DLC. That'll get you five keys. Um, I think it's ridiculous. You'll still probably need to reconstruct the piece you want in the right trait, but right now there's no other way to get the shoulder pieces than these ridiculous boxes, except for the golden vendor, and who knows how long you'll have to wait, with only every other week being shoulders and only two sets. I agree. Totally agree. I can't even tell if monster set head pieces are curated at this point. Okay, I don't think this, this person knows what they're talking about at all. So, monster set helmet pieces are curated. But curation is only there for things that you don't have. So after you collect the three monster helms for that dungeon, it's random after that point. Um, so this is this is silly. So automatically, I just feel like this guy's opinion doesn't make sense because he doesn't understand how the system works and doesn't care about collecting the set. Um, I've been there too. I had to open 48 five key boxes to finally get the one shoulder piece I wanted. Even if it took quite some time and I was losing my head about it in this moment, I also enabled dozens of other people to do their dungeon runs. This is 100% not the reason that people do dungeons like solely. There are some people that are like, hey, like I want this for PvP. Um, I don't care about doing dungeons. That's totally reasonable and makes sense. But to say that this is the only reason that you're populating the dungeon queue is just not correct. People do random normals every day on multiple characters, and a lot of times it's a pledge, and it helps those people out. This is this is not factual information. Um, I'm all for keeping the dungeons populated. I would think transmutes will continue to be a draw. Agreed. So I actually said this in a recent video. There are a lot of people that say that they have too many transmutes, and they're stacking up. I think the issue there is more the fact that we have a cap on transmutes for some reason. Never understood that whatsoever. Um, but because it, it doesn't force people to make new builds. I've seen some people say that. There are a lot of people that just stockpile the transmutes and the geodes, or they turn them into Nern home gear and then deconstruct it so that they can, um, you know, they um, transmute a piece of gear to Nern home so that they can deconstruct it, get the style material, sell that, and make gold. Um, so that's, that's, you know, a thing, but I'm the opposite. So like, I love making builds. If y'all know me, like I've put lots of builds up for the infinite archive. And so I, I never have transmutes. Like the second that I get enough transmutes for a build, like done, I'm, I'm doing it, you know, or like on my tank, like the second that I have enough transmutes to reconstruct a set that I want to use for tanking or for specific builds done, you know? So this is like my, like, I don't really enjoy PVP very much. 
So this is my main source of transmutes is doing dungeons. And I'm not the only one. There's tons of people that do this for the same reason, so I totally agree with this. Okay, I prefer to slowly work towards a goal rather than have continued disappointment as that makes me want to give up on the method altogether. So I wait for shoulders to come to the golden vendor and seldom try to chase leads behind treasure chest RNG. Too frustrating and unrewarding. This is the thing with me. So, it, and this is like what I find to be common sense, but I feel like it's it's not always. Like if something in a game feels bad in a video game, it's not fun, it shouldn't be in the game. Video games are meant to be fun. We are taking time out of real life to de-stress, to have fun in a video game. This system is not fun. <laughs> Just plain and simple. It is not good. It is not the equivalent of a crown crate where you're using people's gambling addictions and high reward centers in their brain and you're taking advantage of that, right? And they're spending money, right? We don't have an endless supply of, and I'm not saying people have an endless supply of money, but you typically have a lot more money than keys that you can get in a day. And it always feels horrible, but it's the same system. It sucks. I just, loot crates in general are horrible and I cannot stand them. I'm a huge proponent against crown crates huge proponent against this shoulder crate crap like it, it just it annoys the living crap out of me um agreed the ridiculous rng just makes me burn out and hate dungeons even more so i just stopped running them so this is this is the thing that i think people are going to react like i feel like this is driving people away from doing pledges because they get the keys they try to get their shoulder piece and they just stop it all together i enjoy the dungeons for the content for the um you know chasing those trifecta achievements and doing all that stuff like that's the reason i do dungeons along with the transmutes and stuff but i've i haven't done pledges in a long time because it's the same thing like i just wait for the golden vendor because i'm not going to waste a bunch of keys on this i could build up my keys um and get the the monster set um, style pages for the shoulders those are 50 keys whenever those are in the store so that's typically what I spend mine on. And then I just wait for the shoulder pieces that I'm missing to come to the, the golden vendor. And then I just buy them because I'm not going to waste time on this system and systems that are in the game that a majority of the people do not like just simply shouldn't be there. And I'd love to hear the reasoning um, from a developer on why they still have this and just a lack of curation with certain things in the game in general. Um, wrong. Horrible RNG makes me not want to run dungeons and just quit ESO. This is intense. Um, it's extremely disheartening to run content on repeat for hours, days, weeks, months, and still not get the drop you're after. I agree. Fun should be the reason to replay content, not horrid RNG. Totally, totally agree. Totally agree. Even if people want to argue that the drops shouldn't be curated, it's important to bring people back to dungeons so that the content won't die. A bit of logic, which has numerous holes, by the way. Can we at least agree that you shouldn't get the same piece of gear twice until you filled that part of your sticker book? There is no reason for players to get the exact same shoulder piece multiple times in a row. That's what curated loot is. I don't, I don't really know where this person was going with that. Um, okay. Firstly, I prefer to spend 25 transmutation stones on gear creation me too secondly you can have five of six parts of your set in your collection but it's the sixth part you don't have that you typically need true that i'm not suggesting just introducing another curated drop chest a curated drop chest uh, should cost significantly more keys i would say 10 is fine mathematically the chance of getting the shoulder that you need is one out of six or 16.6 percent with this chance on average you need to spend 31.25 keys to drop the necessary shoulder this is true if the price of the curated drop chest will be 30 to 35 keys. This price will have absolutely no effect on veteran dungeon population. I feel like this is a little bit too much. I think if you did like, like I was saying, like if you did 10 keys, it would be fine. Um, or even like I would do like 15 to 25 keys. I would absolutely do that. Just spent 65 keys to get the right monster shoulder weight. See, that's like, that's ridiculous. It's the same reason like when people do crown crates and stuff like that, like they end up spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on crates before they get them out because the drop rate is just shit and it's RNG, you know? I run dungeons for fun, for transmutes, for gear, for skill points and XP, even for motif drops, but not for keys unless there's a style page I want, not for a long time. Working towards a goal, I'll do. RNG per dungeon I'll even do, but not work up to RNG. Right. I agree. Um, at the end of the day, like running pledges, like I said, like this person's saying, it takes 50 keys to get the style pages for the shoulders, so it makes total sense. Um, and feels good because there's a goal 
um, in sight that you are directly working towards, but you working towards a goal which has a chance to give you something is, is horrible. Honestly. I don't agree with this. Make both the, the mystery coffers and the five key coffers curated. He basically, or they basically put out the math and stuff. We'll, we'll read through it. So, Gilrian, the Redbeard, Maj Al Ragoth, and Urgalar have 52 different monster shoulders between them. That's 156 different shoulder items. So, 52 times 3, because you have light, medium, and heavy, when you consider the weight. That means it would cost 156 undaunted keys to get all of the monster shoulders. Excuse me. Each five key coffer contains six possible shoulder items. That means it would cost 30 undaunted keys to guarantee getting the shoulder and the weight that you need in the set you need. That's a lot more expensive, but you are getting the shoulder and the set you need, and it might only cost five undaunted keys if you're lucky. I'd also like to see them create more things to spend undaunted keys on. Looking at the infinite archive merchants, there are plenty of things that they could add to the undaunted merchants, like dungeon leads, monster mass style pages, dungeon furnishings. There needs to be a key sink for after all of the shoulders are collected. The style pages are just too expensive and both the golden vendor and IA vendor are cheaper. I don't think the style pages are too expensive. I think 50 keys is totally reasonable. What I think is too expensive is, like we said, how many keys it typically takes for you to get the shoulder that you want, right? I do not think that we should be able to get curated loot in the one in five key coffers. Like I said, I think the 35 that that guy was saying earlier is a little too much. I think one in five is way too little. I think somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the 10 to 25 ballpark, whatever Zoss wants to do, I think is fine. I think if you're working on a set, you only have to do this once, right? So you're talking about a brand new player starting this. That's one story. A lot of us have been playing for a while. I don't have that many left. I totally don't mind running pledges and filling out the rest of the set collection. And then you just stockpile the keys. And I really like this idea of including more things in here um, at the vendors that you can buy with keys, expanding their inventory and stuff like that. I'd also absolutely love to see more pledge givers. There's a ton of DLC dungeons. I don't like the base game dungeons at all, except for a couple of them. Because I've run them so many damn times, man. So I typically just want to stick to running DLC dungeons. That's my favorite content in the game is small group content. So now we have Infinite Archive, but doing like vet DLC dungeons is one of the coolest things in this game. The dungeons are absolutely incredible. I want to run them more often. Um, and a lot of times, the one that you're gonna get a queue for is gonna be the pledge. So I would love to see maybe like five pledges and have three of them be DLC pledges. I think that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't wanna make this video too long. It's a simple topic, but I wanted to go over it because it has been popping up on Reddit. It's been popping up on here a little bit more often recently. I thought it was interesting enough for us to talk about it today. So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you think that this should be curated? Or are you okay with the way it is? Do you agree with that guy that was saying there's no other reason to go into a dungeon? What do you think? Let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'm trying to put out more of these discussions because I love talking with y'all about interesting topics in our favorite game, man. Okay. Um, happy Tuesday. Happy New Year. Hope you guys have had a fantastic start to the new year, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.